morning everyone. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Thanks for getting up so early this morning and uh, coming to hear the Eco Jump presentation. It's a very exciting project and uh, Australian have been very proud to present this to you today. Amongst uh, our guest speakers we have Caroline Pitcock uh, from Pitcock Architecture. We have Graham Knight, Thermal Comfort Assessor. We also have uh, a special guest, Rab Silva, who's going to talk about uh, condensation risk, and Jordan Bregard from Patio Design. So the Eco Challenge, it's all about sustainable building, and uh, it proves that sustainability is here in this country. It's real, it's cost effective, and it's achievable. So what is the Eco Challenge? The Eco Challenge comprises of four individual houses that are all individually owned by individual homeowners, all with the intent to live in these houses for themselves. We started off the project uh, as raw blocks of land and each client required their own architect to help them design and develop their house. As a project manager, I was engaged to build all four houses and subsequently I saw the the opportunity to build a house for tomorrow, today, for these people, such that they will enjoy the rewards of building sustainably. They look like traditional houses, but really behind the scenes, they're not. So what is, uh, what's the point of difference? The point of difference is that, firstly, we have uh, houses that are designed to be energy efficient, uh, and they also comprise of materials that are environmentally friendly and, and conscious, not only as a product, but also going behind the scenes, looking at the cradle to gate uh, product activity line. Today we're going to talk about uh, one in particular house. Uh, this house has probably the most mixed product use on the, uh, out of all four of the houses. And uh, it also achieves the highest thermal comfort rating, uh, an eight star equivalent thermal comfort rating. Now, Australian Living has a philosophy um, for sustainable building and it starts with designing with the end in mind. Now, what does that mean? Designing with the end in mind means starting with what you want to set out to achieve, i.e. an energy efficient house. So as a part of our strategy and dealing with our clients, we've set out to try and build their awareness of what sustainable building is and what the opportunities are and get them confident enough to proceed with their architects with that type of approach. Once we've uh, established a design concept, we then use the services of Graham Hunt to analyse and I guess uh, prove that the concepts actually work and are achievable and that they will come for rating. And through that process, we were able to analyse the individual spaces within the house, find the inefficiencies of, of those spaces, and then design a lifestyle environment that will achieve the highest thermal comfort rating. Our third uh, philosophy is material choice. And this is part of the industry that probably needs the most work. Designing to a high thermal comfort is quite achievable, but to actually use products that can achieve that not only at the thermal comfort rating but also as a environmentally conscious building is, is quite difficult. And we've used the, uh, the rating systems from the Green Building Council of Australia, which is a commercial based rating system, to help us choose our product choice. We've also used uh, products from Gecka, and uh, from those rating systems, we've understood how they achieve rating a product, and we've then been able to apply that to products that aren't rated. So we've been able to assess ourselves how good a product actually is, and also how good the company is behind that product. Our fourth part of our philosophy is to also encompass the environment around the building with a permacultural influence. We believe that that is the final holistic approach to sustainable living and sustainable building and is a very important part of that. 
today I'd like to uh, start off the proceedings with Caroline, and uh, she will go into the designing with uh, the end in mind approach, and then we'll lead on to the next guest.